Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. I'm in one of these like, moods tonight, you know, you probably get like it as well, where you're just kind of like, oh, I want to eat anything right now. So uh, instead of going to the cupboards and just, yeah, yeah, I'll just get like some nuts out, you know? Um, I'm going to try and make a little, nice, quick, yummy meal. I just popped to the supermarket, grabbed some prawns and some chicken. In fact, these are the ingredients. I'm not going to click my fingers. I'm going to go honk. Yeah, do you like that? So hit pause and you'll, you know, you can see the ingredients are quite minimal. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, as you can see, I've flattened out my chicken breasts and this is how I did that. Right, so how I flattened my chicken breasts was I got a wooden thing like this, a rolling pin, okay, and my chicken breasts wrapped in cling film. I'm just going to bash it away, flatten it down. See? Look how smooth that's getting. See that one? Nice and thin. That way it's going to cook quicker. Wicked. That's how I did it. Yeah. Cool, huh? Right, I've got a pan of water just about to boil and my fettuccine ready to go on there. I've got my griddle pan ready. That's just going to sit and chill out for a minute. Gonna heat it up very, very soon though. And another pan to make my sauce. So first things first, let's bring that to the boil and get the fettuccine in there, baby. Kaboom, so that's all in there. I did that funky spirally thing that you've seen me do before. I just like dropped it in, it goes like that. Cool, huh? Anyhow, this little pan there is on a heat as well. What we're gonna do is shove in some flour. It's making our sauce now. And our butter, okay? Gonna plonk that in. Let the butter melt and stir it together so it forms a teeny little sort of mergy golden ball thing. And then we'll chuck in the rest of our liquidy stuff to make the sauce. Wow. There we go then guys, a big golden ball. So you don't want to leave that for too long, otherwise you will ruin your pan, okay? The flour will just go, <coughs> just, you never get it off, okay? Right, so let's pour in equal measures of our milk. Like that. Wow, you like that sizzle? And the cream. Oh. And then on the wine, white wine. Obviously the alcohol content is going to burn away as well. Nice. Stir that all through. Bring it to a boil. The flour should help to thicken it. If you want it thicker, add more flour. If you don't want it thicker, add less flour. And you can chuck in whatever you want in this. Herbs, cheese, anything you want, okay? This is a basic white sauce recipe, I've been told. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Right here then guys, you'll see the sauce is starting to thicken, that's been about two or three minutes. So keep it on a low heat, and what I'm going to do is add in some onion salt. You don't have to do this, this is just for a bit of flavour. So a little bit of that. Black pepper, cha-ching, can you see that? Whole black pepper. Nice amount of that. The kids, going to give it a nice kick, and some parsley. Don't have to use parsley, any herb you want, you know, use grass. Actually, speaking of herbs, I had an email from Chris Bowen from Cardiff regular viewer who's asked me how our herbs are getting on as you can see the basil's coming on pretty well the mint is nowhere to be seen and the coriander look at that it's shooting for the sky so that's how the herbs are getting on my friends keep your on the food right guys we've got about five minutes for the fettuccine to be done the sauce is very neat done too so i've heated up my griddle pan and also cut my chicken into little slivers like this okay so i'm just going to plonk that on there with it being so thin like i said it's going to cook really quick wicked What I'll do is flip those and then shove my prawns in right at the end for the last two or three minutes because they don't take very long to cook at all. In fact, as you can see, they're already ready to be eaten. Yes. Right, the chicken is just about to be flipped. It is going to be nice and cooked through, my friends. Hopefully get those lines on there, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um, spaghetti slash fettuccine, sorry. Fettuccine has been drained. That's there. And I've got my sauce ready that I'm going to pour straight on there now. Use the heat from the pan, stir it all through. Oh, strong. Wicked, so I started to stir that through and I'm going to turn my chicken right now. Cool. It's got the lines on there. Wicked. Liking that. Not too black. Right, they're all flipped. Now I'm literally just going to chuck my prawns in there, okay? Cook them all around there. As many as you want. Remember, I'm just making this up as I go along. So, uh, yeah, fill your belly. Okay, so I've just chucked in a little bit of grated cheese in there because I wanted to give it a bit more of a flavour boost and a teeny bit more pepper. So what I'm going to do is grab myself a plate, like right here, get my rocket salad out of the fridge, which has been chilling, and then chuck my other stuff on top. That is it, pretty much job done. So let's begin that amazing process. Wah. Plate. Generous helping of wild rocket. Bed of fettuccine. Grilled chicken on the top. Finished with the grilled prawns. Check that out guys, that is not a bad food attempt at all. Let's get it in our bellies and see what it tastes like. Yeah. 
Right here then guys, this is what it looks like. Cha-ching, as you can see. Looking forward to it. On the fork. Oh, a little bit of salad gone there. Mmm. Wow. That is an amazing combination of the chicken grilled flavour and the prawns trying to jump out and join in there. And the subtle bit of the rocket just chilling out going, yeah, I'm going to calm you down. To be honest guys, I didn't really know what I was doing there. But I put it together and it turned out blooming darn good. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Remember I started on a poached egg on video number one and learned to cook. So if you don't know how to cook, start on video number one and follow the journey and maybe skip the weird ones. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on. I'll see you again next time. Cheers. High five.